All right. So yes, this is a little bit different than what we've done, right? So previously, we had y equals 8 times x minus h squared plus k. We're able to easily go ahead and find the vertex, axis, symmetry, so forth. All right? But we knew that when it was always x squared, the graph either opened up or the graph opened down, right? So now we have y is squared. So what possibilities, ladies and gentlemen, do you think we can also have our parabola open to? Sideways, right? It's going to either open up to the right or open up to the left. Now, when our graph was vertical, had a vertical axis symmetry, when it was positive, it opened up. And when A was negative, it opened down. So when A is positive in this formula, where do you think it's going to open? To the right or to the left? The right, right? Because that's going to be our positive values, right? So now, when you have a formula when it's going to be y squared, your graph is going to open to the right. So therefore, if a is less than 0, it's going to open to the left. So let's just do some examples here. OK? Now, just because it's a sideways parabola does not mean that it cannot have an axis of symmetry and a vertex. So let's go ahead and plot our axis of symmetries. and then our vertex, right? So let's go and do vertex first. So our vertex has to have some coordinates. By looking at this formula, or not even have to look at this formula, but what you guys are going to think, let's look at even the graph. What is our going to be our coordinates for our vertex? What would you guys maybe want to guess? Yes, no? Anybody want to? That's okay. It's okay. Our coordinates for this case, for our vertex, are going to be h comma k. It's going to be the exact same if it was a vertical parabola. All right? It's going to be exactly the same. So now, however, we, I am going to look into you guys looking at the axis of symmetry. Notice our axis of symmetry is now not vertical. Now our axis of symmetry is horizontal, right? So are we going to have x equals or y equals to make a horizontal line? y equals. Now, let's look at this. If this is h comma k, what is y going to equal? Which coordinate of my vertex? k, right? So now we can say the axis of symmetry is going to be y equals k, which was different for a vertical parabola. We had, it was x equals h. So now it's y equals k. All right. So now let's go and determine what our focus is going to be and directrix. All right. So Zach, focus. Inside our parabola or outside of our parabola? Inside, right? Our parabola is going to approach, get on our focus. So it doesn't matter where you, know, you have it. Right now, I'm not concerned about how to find it. But we know that the focus is going to be on the inside. Therefore, our directrix has to be a dara on the? Oh, outside, yes. Now, the key, and we'll get to that in a second. So we have our focus and our directrix. So ladies and gentlemen, um, let's go ahead and remember. So we know that our vertex is h comma k. So to go to our focus, we're going to have to move to the right. So am I going to be adding value? Am I going to be adding to get to my focus? Yes. And I'm going to add it to the h or the k. Which, which one? What does h represent? h represents the x coordinates. K represents the y coordinates. So if I want to move to the right, do I add to get to my to eight to the h, right? So my focus is now going to be h plus one over four a comma k. Notice, ladies and gentlemen, it's pretty much all opposite of what we did with our vertical. Our vertical one, we needed to add up and down, so we added it to our k. Now we're adding left and right, so we need to add it to our h. And notice again. If our graph opened to the left, then our a would be negative. So we'd be adding a negative number, which would be subtracting, which would mean our focus would go to the left. All right. So always to find your focus, Dylan, is you're always going to be adding it. All right. Now let's go and find the directrix. So if I add to find the focus to find the directrix, then I have to 
subtract. And it's going to be the exact same value, right? Because the distance from here to here are exactly the same. So if I add 1, 4 over a, I now have to subtract, correct? But remember, we're not subtracting it from h. What we want to do is we want to, um, I'm sorry, we are subtracting h, but we want to look at it's going to be a vertical line now. So now it's going to be x equals h minus 1 over 4a. And then our last form, now that's going to be our vertical line. And then the last thing we want to do is find our lattice rectum, which is going to be 1 o absolute value of 1 over a. And remember, that's going to tell us this length. The perpendicular line through our focus, our perpendicular line of the axis symmetry through the focus. <coughs> All right, and we'll talk about next class, or when you guys return, we'll talk about how we're going to use this information to help us graph. Okay? Hello. Yes. Cancel out when you multiply by everything, then you're good. 